today to Ella Studio and we are going to be talking about the art of the table. I have invited today uh, my daughter, Mariela Cisneros Mestre, to help us set the table and to show you many things about how to set a beautiful table with very refined plates and, and china and how to do a beautiful table also with very simple things. Thank, Thank you, you, Mami, for bring, bringing me to your home, for inviting me to Ella Studio. I hope you will all enjoy what we're going to present to you today and that we can give you good ideas to bring back home. We're going to start with placing the chargers, silver chargers that I've had for many years, and then we're going to set up the red silver plates. I use these things which are linen to cover up the silver so that it doesn't get scratched. Also, Mariela, first, the, the, I would like to put, set up also the, the little linen, you know, covers that we will use under, which is called under the plate, so that it doesn't scratch the silver and also to avoid the plates to slide on top of it. Now, the silverware. There are two, two sizes, one smaller than the other, the, for the first plate and for the second, blade in, I'm sorry. And then exactly the same thing, a smaller on the outside for the first plate and then for the main course. Blade in always. And blade in. Okay, good. Then we will, uh, this is the dessert spoon that's going to go on top. You remember, always you start from the outside to the inside. So first plates are always outside, the main course is in the, the last one and the dessert. Today we're going to have a, a plain a, a tart, so we're going to use a spoon. But if you have fruit or other things, then you have to put a fork. Okay. Then the, uh, the glassware. These are Moser from Czechoslovakia. And these are very interesting uh, glasses. I bought these in a, in a market. They are from 1960 in uh, Veneto, from Venezia. And it's um, made out of paste, blown by the artist. At the end, it used to be like this. At the end of the working day, the factory will give the paste for the glass to the workers. And then the workers will blow this glasses that they will take with them. So you see it's on their own even, but they're very beautiful. And it's okay to mix. So they're mixing with this. I think it's and beautiful then because they're all different. Different, different colors because the paste is, you know, they were different colors. And then we also have okay. the napkins. In this case, we did the napkins equally to the beautiful colors of the table. We're going to set it up in the left on the left side of the plate. And then the key, the queen of the table, which is this beautiful china from Copenhagen, uh, the Floridanica. Maybe you can tell us a little bit the story about this china, which is just beautiful. Yes. The Floridanica has a very interesting story. It is made by Royal Copenhagen, and it, today it marks its 230th anniversary. The story goes that late 1700s, Catherine the Great of Russia was at war with Turkey and Sweden. She had made a pact, an, a defense pact with the Danish that would come to her defense. That did not occur. So at the end of the war, the Danish were very worried and they needed to make amends with Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great was an enlightened empress. She loved the arts, she loved the science, and she was very much in love with porcelain. So they decided that the Danish king decided to have a set design for the table and it was going to be based on the Danish botanical encyclopedia. So they took all the designs that had been made in the mid 1700s and they put them in this beautiful china set. They made many, many pieces, something towards 1,700 pieces that were going to be brought over to Catherine the Great. Unfortunately, Catherine the Great died before she was able to see the china that was made in her honor, 
but they already had made amends, so it turned out to be very good for them. The interesting thing is, as you see, the plates are all different, and behind them, if you can see, there's the name, the, the scientific name for each of the plants and flowers that are represented in each of these plates. The plates are also handmade, hand-painted, and they are signed by the artist, and it has their number. So there are very few of these in the world. Well, now we are missing something in the table. Yes. The beautiful flowers that Mariela did today to set up the final touch. So for we're going to get the flowers. Uh, it is uh, they're made up of peonies and roses. Uh, since the Flora Danica is a dinnerware that it's about the flowers, we decided that flowers were a must because the center, the centerpiece can always make, be made up with flowers or different things that you have at home, as we will see when we go to our other table. But in this case, the appropriate uh, centerpiece for this beautiful china was um, Flowers. Also, we took uh, the color because in most of these uh, tables, uh, which, um, uh, dinner plates, you will see that there's a lot of purple and green and white. So we thought that those were the perfect colors for the table. The color pattern. Now we're gonna tell them. Not all the time we have, you know, the opportunity of, you know, this kind of table. But we have lots of things at home that can make a beautiful table for a dinner. So we will show you how you can do that too. So here we are at a different setup table. Uh, we found uh, little things, you know, to show you how to make a setting of a dinner table with whatever you have at home and with plastic things, things that are common that you can get anywhere, you know, through the internet. For example, show us where you got the plates, uh, Mariela. Okay, so these plates I bought online. You can buy them anywhere. They're basic white uh, with a little detail around and you can see that it has a little edge. White is always a good base color so that you can combine with any other color and you can make patterns and schemes of colors with things that you have at home. This, for example, this silverware is plastic also. Oh, everything plastic. And when you bought those, those they came, came with, the plate. plates, with yes. the plates. So we haven't used anything fancy, this is like that. For example, the only fancy thing is I found this place that had chargers. Christoph are very fancy, but you can have even plastic. You can find chargers that are plastic, gold or silver, and match it with your own things. And then, you know, these plastic cups, for example, in order not to just place it on top of the white, I found little napkins with color. I put the napkin, put it underneath the base. It changes the whole color of the table. And then the flowers. We didn't have enough flowers, so we went to the kitchen refrigerator. That's right. And we had a little, you know, shot glasses. If you don't have if you don't have flower base flowers or anything, you can always use little glasses that you have, little any little container that you can use for, you know, water and then put in this case we used parsley, base, basil, basil. Uh, cilantro, kale. kale, and then some extra little flowers that and we then, have. And then, you around. know, I had some green candles, so I just place the candles there that you can light up if you want during dinner and uh, glasses the same thing I found you know these were Murano glasses that I had so I like them you if you have a plastic one don't be afraid to mix it with your beautiful uh, glasses that you have and, and mix one with the other and, and you don't have to always use right mom the the same uh, crystal pattern you can mix and match because yeah. maybe you have four glasses of something because you inherited from your grandmother and then you can use something else that you and have. And change it and, and mix, it. mix it. And now we're gonna change this to show you how you, you can change from one color to the other color. So here we are. Here we are going to be, we change the table in a different way. We just change the napkins into something more sophisticated. You have any uh, napkin, you know, ring. table with a ring will do, you know. 
You also can make, you know, rings with flowers, with uh, ribbons. You tie them with a ribbon, put a little flower on top, and that's it if you don't have a ring. That's right. But here, for example, we put some books, and then you know, we took some of the green out and left the white up, and you have a different setup. But I, I want to give you different ideas. I think you can do many things like, for example, Mariela, a Kleenex box. Wait, here we go. Yeah. So you have a Kleenex, Kleenex box, silver uh -huh. Kleenex box, looks very beautiful. We can use it, you know. We have a little glass, for example. Regular glass, any glass. Let's take ahead. this down. And then let's put the glass in. You put your napkins, altar there. You have little flowers. You set your flowers. And you put them in here. And voila. You have a different. And then you have a flower arrangement. You know? So I, what I can tell you, what I've been trying to tell you, use the things you have at home. You might have, you know, uh, a little box and then you can put the flowers inside the box and leave the box semi-open. Right. Or we had, I, I think we have a, a bowl, a crystal bowl somewhere. Here we go. Yes. Maybe you can just take this out and say. Exactly. If you have no flowers, you have use, no flowers, use, use what you have at what home. You have at home. Make a little, it's like a scene, as if you were setting up like a, a theater scene or a movie scene or anything. And also you can choose themes, depending on what you're going to do. Uh, choose things that you have at home, clogs, if you know, and, and you can boxes. do like a theme for or boxes or uh, stacks of books or colors. So you can play with it and play with the things. Even if you have a small uh, sculpture or object that is, you know, like a design object, you can always put it in the middle and then you raise it with a little so that you have a little perspective. Uh, and play with the table, so you even can, with your fun. It was your children' toys. Let's say right. that you have uh, something for the kids, uh, uh, a party for your kid, but then you have uh, the grown-ups eat it. Use your children's toy. You use your imagination. That is art. Using your imaginations to bring beauty into your daily life, to bring beauty in your table, in the the way you place your your food on the plate the way that you do your home or how to hang. We will do one day how to hang your pictures or your, your art at the house. I think that you will enjoy that because this, this is a little tricky thing in order, you know, to how to yeah. place the art on your walls. But I guess that, you know, we will. I would like to make a, a little final note before we finish is that uh, the art of the table, besides enjoying doing your table for your friends and your family, I think uh, for us as a family, we always ate dinner together. And it was a good tradition to have with your kids. It's a, a good time to rest, to leave your phones off, to your worries, the job, whatever it is, and you can have a conversation with your friends and your family. And those are precious times that you will always cherish. So. The table is a very important, I think we are a little bit as a generation losing that tradition. So please enjoy it, bring it back by making it fun and making it a place that everybody wants to come and, to. And all these days that we've had, you know, at home with the pandemic that we have not been able to go out, be creative. Oh, look at your house, look at the things that are uh, an ashtray or something that you can, with two or three little things, retouch the idea of how to bring happiness to your family and how to eat well. It doesn't need a lot of, you know, expensive things and spending a lot of, right. of money into it. You would enjoy it for sure. You I'm can sure. use everything you have at home and anything can become part of your table. I hope you have enjoyed this visit to Ella Studio this time with art for you to enjoy your daily life. Please come back to my page, elacisneros.com, and come again to our new program. Thank you, Mom. It was a pleasure, darling. <laughs>